Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows installer service could not be accessed or started because it may be installed incorrectly. Hopefully, this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in services, best results, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the a Windows installer service and double click on it. You want to go ahead and start the service and then select OK. Close out of here and then attempt the installer that you were having the issue with previously and then hopefully that should have resolved the problem. Something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to go ahead and copy a second command. I'm going to have in the description of the video, it's a DISM command. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Go ahead and hit enter to begin the scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully now if you attempt to run the installer for whatever application you're having the issue with previously, the issue should no longer be present. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.